There are several things that you have to do to get Android Studio working for the ZTE Speed phone. One of the first things you have to do is download the JDK from Oracle. So if you go to this URL, www.oracle.com, and then type in the rest of this, it's also available in the FTC training manual, this URL, it will take you to the JDK 7 downloads. So you need to scroll down and download the appropriate file for your OS and that's and download the JDK appropriate file. So click accept license agreements and this is a 64-bit Windows system so I'm going to download the file that's appropriate for this. So now the installer wizard will open after the file finishes downloading. So now that it's finished downloading, I'm going to go click on it. It's opening the installer. So you want the development tools. So Now it's going to download and install it as well. So now it's finished downloading and installing, and it's showing uh, the program files as the destination folder. I'm going to go ahead and do that. So yeah, it's done installing, but do not click the next steps. You do not need to go here. Go and go ahead and click close. So yeah, now you're done downloading the JDK, and we're going to move on to downloading Android Studio now. So now it's time to download Android Studio. So just simply type in Android Studio into the search bar, and it's generally the first URL or the second URL that comes up. So go to the download tab and hit download Android Studio for Windows. Then scroll down, read the terms and conditions, then click I have read and agree with the above terms and conditions, click download Android Studio for Windows. So it'll download an executable file. It's pretty big, so it does take a while to download. It's nearly a gigabyte. Yep, okay, its file is downloaded. It opened the executable. and then click next at this place and select all of the checkboxes here and click next and click I agree I agree I actually read these but I'm clicking I agree and um, if you want to change the installation locations go ahead but I'm going to go for the default and um, there is an option to run an Android emulator, and it requires a certain RAM quota. So the default is usually around 2 gigabytes, so I'm going to go for that. And for the Start Menu folder, I'm going to call it Android Studio. It's going to install. 
this takes a long time to install. So it, it's a huge file and it does take a while. So Android Studio just completed installation. So now I'll just go ahead, click next, and then hit finish and select the start Android Studio button. Now Android Studio will open. Say that you do not have a previous version of Studio or you do not want to import your settings. Yeah, so just hit uh, next and it'll download the Android SDK tools. Yeah, so now that it's finished downloading and I'm just going to click finish here. And we are done. We are uh, now at the Welcome to Android Studio Wizard. So the next step in this is to configure Android Studio which will be in the next video.